Sutherland Beach. Look at this. Every, all these people are here. This is insane. Shalom, shalom, y'all, sure, Allah. So, all first things first, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakadash, with your petty Hebrew tub, credit every father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Double honor to the pastor, elders of Great Millstone. And shalom to you, sister, brothers, and this truth. And shalom to brothers and sisters that's listening and studying, show themselves approved. Shalom. Now, as you can see, that was a wildfire in Canada. You know, the elder. In Kansas City, you know, did a lesson on that within these fire plagues. You know, there's this page. I recommend you watch that lesson. And this place is getting plagued right now. The earth is getting plagued. You know, Babylon the Great, this is a good time to revisit because I did a lesson going into that. But I want to deep dive into a little bit more on these fire plagues that's hitting the world right now. Greece got wildfires going on. You know, a lot of a lot of land is getting burnt. It's getting cleared out. And it's not just by coincidence. It's not no, you know, natural occurrences. They trying to make it out the scene. This is orchestrated, you know, by the wicked. Esau Edom, a.k.a. the white man. They're the ones behind doing this. They have a thing called direct energy weapons where they can start fires like that. We're going to watch a video showing that capability. And the scriptures prophesied that he would give Esau the ability to do that so that he can get the world under subjection. You know, this devil, he's swinging for the fences right now. Until tell we get into the nitty gritty of it. So let's watch a video about direct energy weapons, which are satellite weapons in the heavens that shoot down a concentrated laser beam like a microwave beam. So let's watch, let's watch it. Let's get it. Check this out, Yashrala. Umbrellas that burn. Check this out. Wildfires. Yeah. Mm. See that? So everything is just burnt. And we got blue umbrellas standing in mm. everything. That's crazy to me. Well, far as don't do that. See, everything is just burnt. And then a blue car that didn't burn. Mm. Even the Simpsons predicted it. That's crazy. They, they never miss. See you on part two. They ain't predicting nothing. That's just the elites being showing you what they were going to do in they shows. Get this silly chick off the screen. So let's watch another video. I think this is it. Yeah, check this out, y'all, Sherala. If anyone is wondering why the direct energy blast to Maui didn't affect anything that was blue or white, take a look at these pictures. 
if you were in control, would you want the people that you're sending in to take over to be injured? If you notice any of this color blue, all those colors of blue, totally ignored by the fires and the direct energy blast. You guys have started to see the blues and the clues. Those are the shades that aren't affected by direct energy. It's at 666.2 terahertz. Defeats lasers. Now, as you can see from those two videos that Esau is using direct energy weapons to cause these fires. He's clearing out land. I believe through the spirit. I got a scripture to back this up, but I believe the spirit is clearing that land out for war. You know, mass areas, Canada, was it Washington, like California. They did the California what last year, or the year before. Mass areas of land is getting cleared out by ways of fire raining down from the sky in the form of a laser beam. And you know, you get to the scriptures, you go to Revelation. 13 and 13 and it says and he doeth great wonders so that he make a fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of men we are now seeing this this scripture right here is coming to life as we speak this devil has the technology to rain fire down from the sky using satellite laser weaponry called direct energy weapons and this is how he's going to get People want to suggest you got to think all those people in my Hawaii that lost their homes. I guarantee you, y'all, Shirley, he's going to come through like I got a camp. It's got clean water, um, fresh beds. You got food. Just come stay here. You know, they're going to burn their place up. They're going to go to the camp. You know, like the scripture say, he calls them all, both small and great, to get the MOTB. And a good way to get people in a bad stance to take your MOTB is by burning their homes up using your weaponry. You know, high-tech weaponry at that. That's why Jacob's Trouble, woo, hey, Jacob's Trouble about to be something crazy, y'all, Shroud. This devil, as I believe through the spirit, this ain't the last time we're going to see this devil use that weapon. So say now, if a large militia group of Edomites, you know, they are like, I got to protect the Constitution. I'm going to fight. You know, somebody got a military compound, you know, putting up some resistance. This devil can get the coordinates of the area and just rain down lasers, you know, fire. Just blow their stuff up with some lasers out the heavens, man. So that's them. He getting that great wonders, man. Because a lot of people don't know that that's even happening or how they do that. You know, they don't know that. And they say he make a fire come down, man. They burnt, he burnt Hawaii up. Like, if you wasn't that blue, <laughs> that color blue, like we seen in the video, you out of here. Now, this shows you, man, like, Woo, that's what I say being prudent on game, man, because you can wrap your stuff in that blue. And then look at the UN troops. Now we now know why the UN troops wear that color blue, because direct energy does not affect it. So they won't be done in by friendly fire. They better go in, protect it, and then, you know, get anybody that puts some resistance and, and yank them and throw them in the camps. Because the UN troops are going to take over. The UN troops will run in and help to do Babylon the Great. That's about to happen, especially when war kicked out. So now we see why the UN has that blue car. I bet it covers their tanks, they Humvees. Like, man, this devil's diabolical in this plan, you know? And that's what I'm doing. It's talking about that beast doing great wonders. And who, who's that beast? Who owns that beast? Esau Edom, a.k.a. the white man. That's who owns, that's who's running this beast system. And now he's raining down fire from the heavens because you got three forms of heavens. You got the, the, the bodily earthly heavens, which is based on people and governments, you know, rulership heavens. And then you have the sky heavens, you know, where the birds fly, the skies, you know, when you look up in the sky, that heaven. And then you have the spiritual realm, where your Howard dwells, that heaven. So this heavens, they're raining down from the sky. This devil raining down concentrated direct energy blasts, and it's causing fires. He's burning up. He's raining fire from the sky. Just like Yabashah said he would. So, 
Let's get an eyewitness on that too. Let's get an eyewitness. Because he's going to say something very profound. You know. Concerning what happened. Oh, this is live right across the street from my house. Freaking power line just went down. I hear a pop coming from across the street. As soon as I hear the pop, all I heard is like electrical. Like going on the ground there. Look, there's the power line right there. See him right there. That's the power line that started. Started from up the road there. And all of that is still burning. From there, to me, it simulated a fuse. Like somebody lit a fuse for a fire. And it just followed a straight line all the way up to the pole where the thing was and it landed in a bigger pile of dry grass and that just ignited you, get you hear that he said it sounded like a fuse remember he was watching that laser that hit the ground then he said it followed a straight line up the pole so they're attacking the electrical grid that's showing that's what he seen that laser hit and he said it went a straight line up the pole and it's lit a straight fire so that was a a tactical strike right there they're not just sending down lasers, just hitting anything. They hitting the, the electric grid and the, the power lines, which is, you know, that's how you take out somebody's uh, power and set them on fire. And he just seen that. What he described was not like, no, he described what's causing the fire. And we just seen it with that laser. So that that was, I like that we got this eyewitness right here on that point because that lets you know it's not the narrative Esau say. He say it was just some wildfire and it was hot. And the fire just burn up and all everything caught on fire. Like, get out of here, man. No. It's been hot over here. Our power lines that never did that. There was a direct energy weapon strike. They started the fires because they want that land. Like, if you go look up now on the YouTube or media, the governors have been trying to block the elites because they want to buy up the land that burnt up, which let you know that I'm like, they let you know they did a great crime. I'm like, they ain't even trying to hide it, really. So... What was about that? I was about to go get something to show y'all some more on that. I can't. Uh, it escapes. I'm about to go get something else. Oh, I remember. Ooh, the water. Yeah, how about y'all? Let's go to my page. I want to show you something. Let's go to, I think I put it in my community post. Because a lot of things burnt down, but the elites, they lackeys, they didn't burn their houses up. Yeah, right here. Right here. Check it out. Oprah's mansion didn't burn up. Lady Gaga's mansion didn't burn up. Bill Gates' mansion didn't burn up. Morgan Freeman's mansion didn't burn up. Will Smith, Julia Roberts. And, you know, all them celebrities. And then you got to think, it said the U.S. Department of Defense is spending roughly $1 billion a year to develop what is known in the trade as directed energy weapons, according to a report from the U.S. Government Accountability Office. Yeah, we know you got those. That's no secret. So, come on. A wildfire going to skip them luxury mansions? I think not, man. That was a deliberate strike. They do a, a big land grab. Because the devil, you can tell he's desperate. They're probably trying to use that to run away to Hawaii is an island. And then California and Canada and Greece and, and watch all them places, they're getting cleared out so they can, you know, land those UN troops or whatever military they're going to use to subdue the people. That's what this devil about to do. That's why we go to, let's go back to the scriptures. That's what I wanted to show you. These little, they little lackeys, they stuff didn't burn up. Everybody else, the, the people stuff burn up. Come on, man. Let's see, Esau getting real sloppy. Real sloppy. So let's go to Psalms, because King David said it, man. Let's go to Psalms 17 and 13. Because King David said a mouthful. This one, this is Psalm 17 and 13. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. So King David is telling us, man, like he, he telling the Lord, hey, cast down and deliver my soul from the wicked. And who is the wicked? Esau, Edom, a.k.a. the white man. It's the wicked. Because what did he get blessed with? What did Esau's blessing? He got blessed with the sword. That's why King David said, which is thy sword? Esau is, is the sword of Yahweh to cut down on the children of Israel when they ain't doing right. You know, and to, to put the wickedness out there to fulfill prophecy. 
And so with that sword that he has, it doesn't just go, it doesn't evolve from just a regular sword with some steel and iron to, you know, AR-15s and guns all the way to a, a tank, you know, a jet, 50 cal, all the way to satellite weaponry, direct energy weapons, lasers, hypersonic weapons. Man, the devil got it all. You know, if it's something that going to unalive in somebody, best believe he's all over that. And he got it, you know. And he's right now, like, his his sword goes sophisticated. It's, it's as small as a needle. <laughs> Esau get rid of you with that, you know. So his, his sword is very sophisticated now. And it is morphed into where he can rain down fire from the heavens and burn up, you know, huge swaths of land. You know, this devil mine. And that's why now I really get when it said Jacob's trouble is going to be so wild because I answered that to deal with that, you know. They they weren't running from, you know, a laser following you, just burning stuff up in this path. Come on, man. That's that's going to be wild, man. It's, and that's just getting it started. They're going to bring in UN troops, robotics, terminators, and all kind of stuff trying to, you know, destroy the children of Israel. This devil about to go all out. That's why King David said disappoint him and cast him down. You know, we got that same prayer. We need Esau to go down because we ain't trying to get the wrath of Yahweh by Shah with Shah. So I'm going to go to this right here. And probably leave it off right here because, man, this devil was really that. Right, we can't give credit to the devil. Like Elder Kazak said, we got to get credit to Yahweh by Shah with Shah. He gave the devil the power to do this and making him do that because. If Edomites are smart, man, they wouldn't be doing this. I, I'll be spreading. You got trillions of dollars. Just spread your money around. But see what it is. This is what it is, y'all, Sharala. This devil is scared. You know, he's scared. How about y'all shot hit Esau with a warning shot? What was that warning shot? Us doing the work, singing the song, putting this word out, putting the gospel out, this truth. You know, the fact that we calling on Yahweh about y'all shot. The fact that we know we Hebrew Israelites, that was like a warning shot to Esau, and it shook this devil. Hey, shook him so bad that he he throwing some of his biggest moves out there early in the fight. That's when you know somebody is shook and scared. When they bring out their big guns real early, and that's not a good move, that's when you know they're going to lose too. Because like this devil already doing direct energy weapons. So I let you know this devil's scared. He, he, you know he got but a short time. He moving with the best of the best thing he got. Like forget an AR-15. Give me the coordinates where that place is at, and we're going to just shoot it with a laser and burn it up. Use that. <laughs> you know, the devil that scared. So he up for burning up the earth, you know, really just getting everything prepared for his L, because that's what he's about to get. But nonetheless, he's he's doing what the scripture said. He's bringing them plagues on that Yahabashah called for. And Esau has the technology, he's doing it, and he's burning everything up, getting everything prepared. For that war of Armageddon, that last war that Esau gonna go out with. So check it out. This is second address 15 and 16. And it says, In the passage they shall rush on the idle city and destroy some portion of thy land, and consume part of thy glory, and shall return to Babylon that was destroyed. Verse 61. And thou shalt cast down by them as stubble, and they shall be unto thee as fire. Verse 62. And shall consume thee in thy cities, thy land, and thy mountains. All thy woods and all thy fruitful trees shall they burn up with fire. So Esau just burnt up some of his government. When you look at mountains and hills, that goes into government and rulerships. Esau burning that stuff up. He don't care. He got to hear him get his, his agenda off the ground. You know, he burned up his own stuff. It said, it said and thy woods and fruitful trees, man. Esau lost billions of dollars. He don't care. Because, you know, he got a, a bigger agenda he's trying to do. But nonetheless, he did burn, burn a big part of his own country. Because Hawaii is part of the U.S., Babylon the Great. And the devil burnt it up. So that's him, you know, the scripture coming to pass. This devil's works is about to burn up. Portions of his land is getting burnt up. You know, why? Because it was never his. It was getting plagued. Abishai is, is flushing them out. And what's so great about it, he the one doing it. <laughs> You know, Israel ain't doing that. We ain't got no direct energy weapons. We over here just trying to get by with, with a dollar or two, trying to, you know, take care of these highest bills that we up here living up under Esau, Eden's rulership with. 
You know, it's so like my French, but hey, that's we dealing with. This devil over here, the elites, they're over here burning up, you know, uh, millions of acres of land. Because they, they, they see that L coming. They really do. So, hey, we got to stay prayed up, y'all, Sherala, because you could be sitting in your house and who to say the devil don't want to, you know, concentrate our city? You might just put the coordinates in and I just want to burn this land up too. I got I got plans. I got to put some troops right there. So we got to stay prayed up that we don't get hit with some direct energy weapons because you can just be in your house and, you know, and mug hit your house and there it go. Your house on fire, man. Just, you know. And then, like, you know, man, they did. That was a great crime, y'all, Sherala, because they're underreporting those deaths. They're talking about only 100 deaths. And you looking at the devastation that it did. You know, to that city. That's way more than 100 deaths, man. This devil done killed a th over 1,000 some people trying to keep it hush hush and then trying to blame it on nature. Wildfires. Woo, that's how you know Esau Edom got to go. That is the devil. We just seen some of his works. And it wasn't even a good cover job either. We just seen on TikTok, you know, I sent the videos and it blew the top off. Even with dude's uh, eyewitness report when he said a line hit and it ran up the pole and burnt up the. The electrical pole, he described a, a laser point. He seen it when it first hit, and it set everything on fire. They just got fires going. Like this devil, woo, diabolical, you know, diabolical. But he's just doing prophecy, what, what Yahabasha has allowed him to do. And it's so beautiful. We read the scriptures, he's fulfilling that. He's fulfilling prophecy. So it lets you know Yahabasha is in control. He's in control of everything that's going on. So what we got to do is stay prayed up, stay locked on this truth, and we're going to be all right, y'all, Sharala. We're going to be all right. Lord willing, we're part of the hopeful elect. So with that, I just want to do a quick watch for let's let you know, like, the, the devil, man, he's coming with it, man. He's doing those wonders. He's raining down fire from the sky. He's doing it. So with that being said, hey, we, we getting real close, you know, to that mighty entrance. Of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah. So with that, I hope this has been edifying. I want to say Quan Yashrala, Detail Bob, Shalom.